Hello everybody and greetings from Islamabad. The blasphemy business is booming around here these days. If you want to steal somebody's property, destroy his business or have some score to settle, all you need to do is go to your friendly neighborhood mullah and say, that person said something about the Holy Prophet or his companions or anything that could be construed as not properly Islamic. And in no time, you will have a howling mob that will come descend upon that person, tear him to pieces, and your job's done. Let me give you an example. There was a young man, 23 years old, by the name of Mishal Khan. He was a student at Abdul Wali Khan University in Mardan, which is about 70 miles or so from here. And the university administration wanted him gone. Well, he was a progressive young man, and he had a Facebook page in which he carried out discussions with other students. By the way, he was enormously popular because he would take students' cases, such as somebody being excessively charged in terms of fees or uh, being victimized by some teacher or whatever, and he'd go to the administration. Whenever he went to the administration, he got a whiff of corruption, and as he investigated, it became deeper and deeper. The administration tried to get rid of him, and this, by the way, I learned from his father, who I visited last week. The administration first planned to have him killed and his body thrown into the river. Well, that didn't work out. So they told their, their pet students that, um, you know, he's a blasphemer. Why don't you go after him? And so they went to the nearby village in a jeep with a, loud, with a mounted loudspeaker and said, Islam is in danger. The prophet has been blasphemed against. Come, come. And so the very next day, there's a crowd of 57 and among them was Mishal Khan's roommate, who he had befriended multiple times. They first stripped him naked, then they beat him with sticks, and then with bricks. And finally, one student took out his pistol and shot him dead. All this while 400 other students were looking on, making a video of this with their smartphones, and not one did anything to help. Mishael Khan. As I said, I went to see his father, who's a really wonderful, brave man, who's standing up alone today. And he told me that because of the national furor, there was a joint investigation team that had been set up by the Supreme Court of Pakistan, which found that he had not blasphemed, that he had been targeted for revealing layers of corruption in the university administration. And just to give you one example, the university has on its payroll 300 security guards. And 200 of them work as private servants in the homes of the bigwigs around that place. This is not the first or the only case. This is now so usual. It's heartrending. How could his own fellow students have become animals. How could they have torn him to pieces like, like mad men? But it's happened and it'll happen again. And it's happened throughout his human history. Look at Europe 300 years ago. It was barbaric and savage, just like we are today. And so my friends, here in Pakistan, we will have to do what they did in Europe 300 years ago. Pay the price. We will, we will have to sacrifice ourselves. But we know that we shall win. We shall win because the forward thrust of humanity is unstoppable. So no matter what these religious fanatics do with us, we know that we shall prevail. So be of good cheer. And goodbye.